This is a place of in-between, where the battle between hope and fear is being fought. This mother brought her son sick with fever, but she too is tired. And his aunt carries him in when he's cold. Before the flood, this hospital treated 150 patients a day. Now it's 400. Dr. Nazia Ruj runs the emergency unit. Mosquito born disease, mosquito malaria, dengue, most probably coming this uh, situation. Most beds are full, and if the power of touch could keep a child alive, it surely would here. This newborn, still nameless, needs much more. Delivered by C-section to a mother recovering far from here, he is but 12 hours old. It is his uncle watching over him. We have faced many difficulties to reach the hospital of our city. Gulab Raza Marie sloshed through flood water for a kilometer and hailed a car to get his sister-in-law to a local hospital before getting the baby here after his birth. I am hoping that, inshallah, he will be okay. But even people who once lived close to a hospital may find it inaccessible, if at all. The geography is otherworldly. It is a sentiment echoed by Dr. Ruj, back in that place where hope can sometimes win out over the fear clutching at hearts. And a baby, nameless for now, can be declared stable. Margaret Evans, CBC News, Sindh Province.